hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is isha if you are new here welcome if you aren't welcome back to my channel today i will be showing you guys how to start off by unmirroring your tattoos so i already have a video on how to do tattoos and just so you know that when you do your tattoos you only able to do it to where the tattoo shows on both arms so i'm just going to give you guys a few tips when doing this so i'm going to show you in this video how to start off by re uv it but it will be up to you guys to finish the rest simply because it is a longer task and it takes more time than actually doing the tattoos so as you know when you are doing tattoos here is the psb and if you already have my files um, you should already have this PSB file. It, sh it should be PSB, not PSD. PSB. Um, so you would import the PSB in. So I already have the female top in. Um, if you don't have OBJs, the only way you can save this PSB as an OBJ is going to 3D, export 3D layer, change this to a Wavefront OBJ, and then you save it, do not touch anything here, and then you save it wherever you want it to be saved as. So like I said earlier, um, when you are doing tattoos on your arms, it is mirrored, mirrored to where you can only see it on one side. So I'm just gonna give you an example here. So if this was like a tattoo or source some sort, and when you go back here, it's showing on both sides of the arms. So that's just the way GTA has their arms, unless you put this into the actual tattoo shop files. Obviously, it's going to go on one arm because of the way you put it in. But we are doing custom tattoos. So when you're doing custom tattoos, you only get it like this simply because the uvs are laying on top of each other that way it can fit everything here so once you export this into an obj you're gonna have to take it into a blender so i'm gonna show you guys how to re-uv your skin or your your body file so once you have that as the obj you're gonna go ahead and bring up blender delete the box out of blender then you're gonna go to file import then import that wavefront obj and then you're going to import that body that you just exported out of photoshop so this is the upper and here it is so what you now need to do is go to the right until you see the cross here i'm sorry the left until you see the cross here over here you're going to drag it out so that you have two plain views here under this tab, under file, you're going to click that and go to UV editor and you should have your UV up here. So now you're going to go up to object mode here. You're going to go to edit mode. You're going to hit A in this area. So make sure your crosshair is in this area and hit the letter A. And you're going to see the same UV map from Photoshop. So let me delete this here. So you're going to see the same UV map, okay? So if you want to get your stuff UV'd or unmirrored, you need to do this first, okay? Um, so there's plenty of ways of re-UVing this here. You can start off by just changing up. You can leave the chest alone, but just messing with the arms. So if I want to just separate the arms, what I would do, just click off in this area here. I'm going to hover over the arm area and hit L. And it's going to select a portion of it. So you might have to go all the way around to the back. Hitting L again. All the way to get everything on this arm now you don't want to click the nails because the nails are separate uvs so if you click the nails if i hover over the nail and hit l it's going to be this part right here we don't want that so just want to make sure i have everything from this hand here by hovering over it hitting l 
it looks like everything is selected all right so now what i'm going to do is go over here to this box where the uvs is i'm going to hit l in this area too until i get everything all right so now you should be able to move this hitting g and move it out of the box okay so now back into this area you are going to hit a instead so now you see everything is now separated both arms are now separated so you're going to want to put everything in this one box so i'm going to start with the other arm since it's now separated i'm going to l this whole arm here so which is my left arm here i'm going to scale it down rotate it and just move it over i'm going to do the same thing for this one here select everything scale it down rotate it and move it here I'm going to scale it some more. All right, so now you have your arms you feed. Now, the next part is something you would have to do on your own because this, like I said, does take more time doing than doing the actual tattoo so now that you have re or un uv re uv your chest area now you're gonna have to make your tattoo in this spot so if this is something that you want to do do it i suggest just not doing it this way you might get issues with your tattoos distorting you have to go in and do your tattoos a little bit smaller. You never know how your tattoos are going to turn out because you are messing with your UVs and making them smaller. So this is a way to do it. Another thing you will have to do is retexture. So this skin here that comes with GTA will not work for this because you change your UVs around. So now it's up to you to change or retexture your skin. Now you can do this as a suggestion. I'm gonna bring back up Photoshop and I'm gonna drop this into Photoshop. You can possibly just cut out, see this is the arm part right here and I never touched the chest part. So all you have to do is just pretty much, let me do a lasso. It won't be perfect, but pretty much this is all you do, would probably have to do. It's not a perfect line, like I said. You cut that out, scale it down. So this is not the UV one, but you scale it down. and put it where the first one is. And the other one's gonna be the same thing. So you just bring it over like that. So if I were to drop this UV onto here, this is pretty much how I would do it. Um, and you would just put your tattoos on here. Now, like I said, I don't know how your tattoos would come out because we are now messing with the UVs. So after you finish UVing, and fixing your texture skin and everything up you actually would have to take this or you can actually take this before you do this part before you do this part pretty much all you have to do is just now save this go to object mode and then save this body part i'm going to save it just so i can actually show you guys save as um File, export, I'm sorry, export as Wavefront OBJ. And then I'm going to call it new body. 
select it only export then I'm gonna go back into um, here Photoshop then I'm gonna put in the new body I have here the OBJ okay so here's the new body and the UV should be exactly how we just changed it there you go so like I said you're gonna just take this I'm gonna copy so this is the new one and I'm just gonna put it here now it's not perfect but you do it perfect but like I said it's better to just leave this alone and just do it the normal way because this will take more than you expect and then you can do the chest area as well maybe I can move this one So that's pretty much how you do that. But if you want to do it by scratch, from scratch, do it from scratch. So after you have completed, you've done your tattoos on here and everything, all you can do, just do your tattoos on here. So yeah, once you do your tattoos, like I said, I don't know how this will pretty much look. You do your tattoos on here, you go back to the body. Let me just show you how it will be different actually. Let me do a different color on one side. So orange, if you go back, it's only on one side. If you do black or red, only on one side. So this is pretty much how you do it so that it does not mirror. And the last thing you would have to do is go back in and actually rig this to re-rig this because it's not rigged you actually have to rig this because this is a completely different body one this is a completely different uv body that's two and three you're going to have a different map so it's not going to be the map that you have done before all right so that is pretty much how you start off by doing it um hopefully this helped in regards to not having the tattoos on both but you decide what you want to do if you want to take the long way approach you can un, um you can do this or you can just do it the regular way with the mirrored body like this all right well thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'll see you again on the next video